looks like Robertson lost it. Well, they got that prayer, but he lost it. He saved it. Well, Blake had a lot to do with the saving it. Eight tires are better than four, mm -hmm. but... No harm, no foul here. He gets into oh. the wall, and when he bounces off, uh, nothing he could do about it. Uh, he just bounced off and got into Lewis. And Blake Feast in the five car was just a victim. Wrong place, wrong time. They drive down in turn number one. What was it? Is Parker going to get a little loose? We've seen him have trouble with this this year a couple times. Oh, he Ooh, blows he the right front. Yeah, cut down a right front tire. And you saw the damage to that truck, how hard he hit that outside wall. That's after hitting Blake Feast and killing a little bit of that momentum. Man, Blake thought, watch 63. Just I think get he gets caught. a little damage yep. on the right rear of that truck. David Starr does a nice job, local Texas driver, getting woed in time to not get a piece of that. But there's the contact right there when Parker blows that right front tire. Hard contact for Blake into the outside wall. Here comes Jack Smith. Watch, he's going to get a little bit of contact just at the right rear corner. Turns him around. That's Blake, the 87 car right there going down and turn him one. Just got loose all by himself, Randy. It looked like you've seen a little bit of sparks. Uh, I talked to the track owners. Soft walls are coming, but they're not here yet. You know, what might have happened is he bottomed out. That's not uncommon right here. They start with the tires being a little bit lower in air pressure than you would is to, because for a long run, the car's going a little harder. They bottom out. It makes him get loose. Talk about indelicate. Watch this. Number 94, Blake Fees enters the pits way too fast. Those men you see there are photographers flying. They probably wondered at one point or another that this was a hazard of the profession.